OT Countdown. Top 10 Dark Trolls. Prepare to die might be the mantra, and we're fine with that. The obscure secrets, maddening systems, and escalating difficulty are all part of Dark Souls' charm. But even in the land of Lordran, there are certain maddening moments that must moonlight under creaky bridges, harassing goats and charging tolls. If you ever wondered, dear viewer, for whom the bell trolls, the answer is you. Number 10. Mimics. Sure, there's no rest, no quarter, no sanctuary, but surely after clearing a room of enemies, it's your right, your destiny, to plunder that chest and claim your spoils. Unless that chest has an appetite for adventurers. The Mimic makes you wary and uneasy, and is quite the foe even if you get the drop on, trying to punt you or reclaim its lost snack. Number 9. Skeleton. In Dark Souls, skeletons rise from the past to make life miserable for uninitiated adventurers. Very early on, perhaps the most approachable path leads down to a graveyard. While seemingly unimposing at first, the odds quickly stack against you as skeletons begin to form, and your feeble blows from your starting weapon deal virtually no damage. If you follow the path looking for an escape, you're out of luck, as almost invincible giants spawn. For Dark Souls newbies, this encounter can be off-putting and fill your mind with doubt on what the future of the game may hold. Number 8. Sen's Express Elevator. This architect Sen, was he man or troll? Sen's fortress is designed as a proving ground, with formidable snake men and all manner of tricks and traps standing between you and Anor Londo. After surviving boulders, guillotines, and pressure plates, you may be tempted to relax your guard for a moment as you take an elevator to the upper levels. Should you get off at the first stop? And why is there blood on the floor anyway? Well, might as well go up one more floor. Number 7. The Dark. Many a hollowed still groan about the Tomb of the Giants to this day in its near sightless log of limited visibility. Little beacons near the entrance help give a vague sense of direction, but are also prone to deliberate misdirection and cheap falls that should come as no surprise. Unsuspecting warriors who lack a keen eye may also completely omit the subtle but necessary threat of glowing eyes lingering in the surrounding darkness. Miss these and you'll blunder into a skeletal surprise that will more than likely lead to your demise. Suffice it to say, the darkness and lack of spatial awareness that it causes is a low blow, even by Dark Soul standards. Number 6. NPC with a death wish. Among the drakes and monsters, you often run across mysterious adventurers and enigmatic personas throughout the Dark Souls world. Unlike most games, these characters aren't invulnerable weapon dispensaries. In Dark Souls, you can kill an NPC, you can inspire them to seek out new territory, and you can be attacked by their hollow form after they meet their doom. Even good intentions can result in the loss of key shopkeepers, and if you make one mistake too many, your dreams of becoming an unstoppable pyromancer can go up in smoke. Number 5. The Community Griefing, for the sake of hilarity or spite, is a time-honored tradition. In Dark Souls, the community is one of your primary obstacles, like it or not if you're playing online. With the capacity to invade your game, your fellow Dark Soulians will seek you out with the sole intent to snatch your humanity. Community trolling can take on a much more passive route as well. Messages scattered around even the most remote corners of the world are the game's way of providing indirect communication between players. Most use these to help others along through vague hints and clues, but there will always be that select few that attempt to trick you over a cliff, donning the facade of a friendly face. Number 4. Blight Town. In its entirety. Herein lies a troll so potent that it couldn't be confined to a mere example. From its rickety bridges and blow dart snipers to its endlessly spawning mosquitoes and unforgiving falls, Blight Town is the perfect expression of an environment so devious in design that each of its individual pieces fit together into a grand gestalt of griefing. It seems as if there's a peril at every turn of this delicious marsh. Even the game's engine seems to get in on the fun, slowing down frame rates to a crawl at the most inopportune moments. Whether by poison, fire, an errant boulder, or a misplaced step, a frustrating demise is inevitable this oppressive swamp of suffering. Number 3. The Basilisks Perhaps the cutest enemy in the game is also the most maddening. These blowhards may only live in specific climates, but being cursed and losing half your health is a universal disaster. Pre-patch, your life could be even further quartered. Getting the curse removed with an expensive purging stone is one of the few ways out of this oblivion. 
and again, it was particularly hard to come by before the patch. Number two, the Archers of Anna Orlando. One of the most humbling experiences comes in trying to traverse a small portion of Anna Orlando. Two archers, perched in perfect sniping spots, send volleys from afar, each capable of knocking you off the narrow ledges. The price for receiving their piercing blows? You fall to your death, perhaps ricocheting off the walls first. Indecision is your worst enemy as the slightest hesitation spells your doom. Even cheating on the PC edition does little to alleviate your troubles. It's an old school gauntlet that's merciless, yet its simplicity makes it such a perfect death trap. Number one. Ornstein and Smau. While the Bell Tower gargoyles introduce you to being outnumbered in a boss fight, there's nothing like the Super Londo brothers. Ornstein and Smau make a despicable pair in tandem, Ornstein dashing from any which way, while Smau meanders and smashes with wild abandon. Even in death, the troll grows, with the slain empowering their survivor, giving us an electrified Smau or a supersized Ornstein, ready and willing to impale you. They are the ultimate Dark Souls roadblock. Finally, defeating this duo is like supping on Ambrosia as you claim the Lord Vessel and steal a glance at Sweet Guinevere. Nothing feels better than overcoming the most impossible odds. Are you prepared to die again? A glutton for punishment? Just hungry for more Dark Souls? Come back to Game Trailers Thursday, April 11th for Dark Souls 2. See all of our shows and game reviews now on the brand new GT app on Xbox Live and the GT Originals iOS app too.